Mm. They're doing vaccines for the old folks here, man. It's crazy. I have, I've seen COVID sites, but I've never seen a vaccine site. So this is kind of new. Look at that. Vaccine site. <laughs> crazy. You never... <laughs> This world has changed so much in the last year. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Smiley back on the bike today. I'm um, still waiting on my gloves. They got delayed, so it's gonna be a Friday. Over here, we're driving to Santiago Canyon Roads. I don't think I've ever made a video where I drove through the Santiago Canyon Roads back here in uh, the back of Orange, man. This is a weird place because this is like there's like a biker bar here, but like I don't feel like I ever fit in there because it's like one of those biker bars, like the biker bars, the ones that use the motorcycles with the with the Harleys and uh yeah you go up this road and you end up at that bar and then you see like horses and stuff and barns and shit uh, life updates a lot of things have changed <laughs> yet again i'll tell you that uh we'll go into more detail on the next video after this because this video is just me riding around yeah things things kind of things kind of changed again <laughs> these changed again and uh uh um uh, yeah man uh trajectories change really quick in my life when i want them to change so uh yeah <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're gonna have to wait and see what happened with that new trajectory we're going on, boys and girls. But right now, we're just enjoying a nice, may I say, hot day wow. here in California wow. where the sun is out. And boys and girls, things are uh, looking good today. Nice day. It's a nice, sunny, cold day, so I get a bit of both worlds right now. Yeah, man, this is this, this place caught on fire and all it kind of burned quite a bit. It got pretty serious. We got evacuated. But if you ever want to just go on a nice little scenic tour route, this over here. The Santiago Canyon Road is nice and uh, nice and different. You know, we live in the city area, and then now look at this beautiful little like mountainous area. You know, just hiding away back here in Orange. It's got some windy roads here and there, just to you know, you know get some good speed out of them. I said a lot of bikers come here. Oh, all this burn, man. For sure, you can tell like a lot of this caught fire. Oh wow, that's so crazy. The vegetation here is so dry, you know, sometimes and and it just catches. That's yeah, crazy, dude. I'm gonna pass this little car though. I'm gonna go a little bit faster because uh they're going too slow for my lucky. I wonder how they've been doing with the whole like coronavirus and the closures and all that stuff. Cook's Corner on a weekend is like a Harley Davidson Haven. There's a bunch of Harleys, the cruisers and all that crazy home, bigger bike. Uh, there are sport bikes, but for the most part, Cook's Corner is like, I consider it like a Harley place. They do welcome anyone, which is cool. And then like, this is the cool part about Cook's Corner, which we're about to enter in the next four miles. Look at this boys and girls. Gotta get in the riding positions. And then look at this little road. It's so scenic and so pretty, man. Yeah, it's a very beautiful little road here, man. I just gotta bring my speeds in. Look at this, covered in trees, brush. It's so cool, man. It's so, it's nice. It's a nice little departure from the city that I live, or well, the town, the city town where I live, and all I see is like buildings and houses. This is all like nature, forest. It's pretty, dude. Yeah, like this, whoever, like this part here, this, it's amazing. The first time I rode through here, I was like, wow, this is so rad, man. This is so cool. Like, it's so pretty. It's so nice up here, you know? Like, that's so cool. And it's just like this, the full, the full little path right here. And then just like all covered in trees and it's nice. It's just, the, the air quality is a little better here, you know, a lot of the oxygen from the trees, it's really nice. I'm going to pull over at the park because I want to drink my water bottle because I'm a little thirsty, you know, but I just, it's a nice little road, man. There's horses and I don't know who else lives up there, but there must be a lot of, a lot of rich seeds and it's just cool, man. Like, this reminds me of, like, not California for sure, like, not where, not where I'm living. So if you want to come down here at Cook's Corner, man, check it out. It's really cool. I mean, you get to go down this road. It's very lovely. It's very pretty. You got sun rays coming through all over the place right there. Like, oh! And it's nice, dude. Because unfortunately, traffic can make it either a fun or fun experience or like a... I mean, it's still cool being going through here. Don't get me wrong. But when I get to go through here faster, it's a lot more fun for me. But that's just because I need to stop being a crazy, crazy person with speed, man. 
I gotta slow it down, boys and girls. I need to learn to slow my roll. <sighs> yes, I do. I love curvy roads, man. They're the best. They keep you like ten. I, I, like, uh, paying, they keep you paying attention. It's not boring. You know that kind of stuff. Yeah, sometimes we need some. Sometimes we just need to like get out of our our house. I know COVID is very restricting with all you can do, but this is COVID safe. You're in your car, you're just driving around, you're driving through here, and sometimes it's good to see other stuff, man. Being stuck at home, it's great sometimes, but like, it gets tiring after a while. And to be able to go out and see the world, dude, it's fucking beautiful, especially when you find cool roads like this. Stuff you're not accustomed to seeing on a daily. And I know other people that watch this, like, dude, I see that every day in my house. Yeah, we live in Southern California. We don't have that every day here, okay? This is, look, the, there's, there's fall here, fall. Like, we don't have trees that change colors where I live. And this is still technically where I live. So it's really cool, you know, just to get out. I think sometimes for your peace of mind and just like getting your mind like a, in a good state, you have to go out and like just see the, the, what the world has, you know? Um, being stuck at home is just gonna put you in this weird state of negativity and just, I don't know, it can lead to very bad things. So just make sure to explore and see the world whenever you have a chance to see it, you know? Don't be afraid of it. That car right there does not not take this turn. Yeah, they're scared of it, dude. I don't know why. I don't know why car drivers are so scared of turns. It's not that hard. We're going like 19 miles an hour. Boredom. <laughs> Oh, what an experience. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what the hell is going on? The clutch is falling off. I guess it wasn't screwed on all the way. All right, now we're gonna head on because I don't want this to happen again. And we being like 30 miles away from my house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, boys.